My name is Glenn Davis. I joined MedJet this year, and unfortunately, I needed to use it right off the bat. My business partner knew about MedJet, and he's the one that encouraged uh, all of us to join it. We're a small business. He signed us up right before my trip. I went to visit my daughter in Rome, who was doing a summer abroad. We were waiting at the train station. I was distracted, not paying attention, and I fell right off the platform. I thought I was paralyzed because I literally couldn't move. Out of nowhere, two guys jumped down. They got me on top of the platform, and then immediately the train came barreling in. It was uh, as close a call as you could possibly have. Then I ended up in a huge emergency room in a huge hospital in downtown Rome. The whole uh, language barrier was very, very difficult. They were literally talking into my phone, into Google Translator software, and I was trying to figure out what medicine they were trying to put in my body before I let them. It was a problem communicating the entire time I was in the hospital. My femur needed emergency surgery, knowing I was going to have surgery in a foreign country. That was definitely a concern, not knowing if they knew what they were doing. It ended up proving to be true. From day two or three, I wanted to come home. So my business partner called MedJet for me. Thank you for calling MedJet. Once I knew they were in the air, it was just all the relief in the world knowing that MedJet was coming to get me. MedJet showed up with a stretcher, doctor, paramedic, and nurse right next to my bed in, in the hospital in Rome, and they took me from my terrible hospital bed to the plane. MedJet, they took care of all the discharge papers. I didn't deal with any paperwork, and they were so professional, and I trusted them medically with everything. They medicated me the whole time, and you know I was in a lot of pain, and the traveling was rough, but it was they, they made me as comfortable as, as humanly possible during that trip. My first day back in the United States, I went back into the operating room and had everything redone. Sure enough, the uh, Italian hospital screwed up my surgery and put the wrong size rod in my leg. If MedJed didn't come and get me, I would have probably been stuck there for four to six weeks, and I would have had the wrong rod in there, you know, and I, I would have been healing with an incorrect rod in there the whole time. So that would have caused health-wise some major problems. MedJet was a blessing.